channel so this is another plus tube I'm trying so hard to keep up with the weekly it's proven to be something else so I have um, some lips to show you guys and stuff um this week's been pretty you can see my beer is corona day because what happens when you pick a new spot to film and you touch something right Anyway, um, I'm drinking a Corona today because my husband really likes Corona and so I tend to keep some on a hand and um, yeah, just it is what it is. It's been a very, very, very busy week. I'm sending emails, I'm doing stuff <laughs> that just needs to get done. Um, you know, it is what it is. Um, let me see what else. So today is Monday. I'm filming this. Tomorrow morning I'm going to have to film my um, restock video because I haven't filmed that yet. I'm still trying to finish up these emails right now. I figured I would pop on here and start talking to you guys while I was doing this. Um, this week has just been really, really crazy. Um, we spent the weekend at my father-in-law's house because he's got a lot of stuff going on. If you didn't know, um, he has, um, he has cancer and, um, <clears throat> he, uh, has just started his chemotherapy and so we're taking turns between some other family members and his children, my husband, obviously his son, is um, more taking turns spending the night at his home. And so we, this last weekend was our turn. And then my husband was there like all week uh, spending the night with him. Um, one of my suppliers is messaging me. And so it's just been very busy. I cannot get used to this Zoom thing. Keeping my kids' schedules together while also keeping my schedules together. I'm taking five classes. I look up here because I printed out all of my syllabuses for my classes and pinned them to my wall here so that I could keep a visual reminder of what I need because I also wrote down um, the class times on there because I was supposed to be taking three classes on campus and two classes online. Um, and it boy this lady um and since everything's moved to online all of my instructors have decided to go ahead and keep or transition to an online class except for one instructor he is very dead set on meeting at the time that we're supposed to be meeting for his class and his class let me see is at 10 30 10.30 to 11.45 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And he is adamant that we have to meet at that time. No other time has to be that time, which is fine, except that it's also the same time that my kids have their meetings too. And so it is kind of frustrating um, he's being so nitpicky about it and I tried to see, you know, is there something I can do? Like, I'm sorry, like I can't pick and choose when my kids can, um, skip their Zoom meetings so that I could have mine and he's like, well, I don't know what to tell you, you're just gonna have to be there and if you're not there, there's nothing I can do for you. <sighs> so it has been something else just ridiculous and so I don't I don't know it's been rough last week was the first week this we're coming into the second week and I still haven't quite figured out how to um, work this dynamic I guess is the best the best thing to say I'm trying to figure out I downloaded some new files here and the names are the same and I can't figure out which one's which so okay let me see here 
I need the full name. It's the one with the two at the end of it. I sorry, tell my computer to do something. It has a mind of its own. Um, I don't know. So it's it's gonna be rough. And again, this part of the thing is gonna have a ridiculously long haul because stuff just keeps coming. <laughs> I swear I didn't order that much stuff, at least I didn't feel like I did, but um, my friend Amy, she sent me a few things, several things actually, and so that's part of it, so it is what it is. Um, let's get started with the whips. So I'm going to try to keep this under an hour because it needs to be under an hour at least once, right? So as far as whips are concerned, I, let me see what I did with the other, I took this with me to my father-in-law's house and did not work on it at all it was the curious mermaid my kids were playing games together i told them they could have a little bit before we did some homework before bed Do I have paint on me yeah i've been painting no paint on this one but i've been painting my kitchen <sighs> when it's done i'll show you guys some pictures and my face is really shiny because of all the crazy light so the first thing that I worked on this week is the Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow. Um, I am here on this side. I have part of this, part of the flames for the cauldron about half and I started the witch down here, um, the black anyway in her dress because there's going to be a lot of black, well, maybe not, but I started that anyway. I'm going to have to do it a little weird so that I don't show the pattern because I have my pattern pinned up here. Um, and this is where I got so I basically started the border and I did all of this Since the last time I showed you guys I believe I'm stitching this two over two on a piece of 32 count shadow It's a uh, Lugana from Be Stitch Me I got the I'm gonna show you guys the card, but it's a little funky in there um, this is a larger cut. I got a half yard to fit this piece and it's gonna fit it perfectly I just this which is why it started it started in the center because I didn't feel like doing all of the measurements There wasn't gonna be enough left over no matter which direction I started in to worry about Trying to save some of it. So I just figured I'll just start in the middle plus this is probably my favorite box along with These two up here too. I really like somebody on Instagram is also stitching this and they did this whole box already and they started on this next one I can't remember who it is but I'll put if I can find it I will put it here so you guys can check them out too because I really love watching their progress videos so Halloween at Hop and Hollow is by Carriage House Samplings so there's that. I have that over there because I'm working on it um I also okay yeah I'm gonna have to take this one out of the thing so that you guys can see. I have a couple of more, do I? Yes, I have a couple more things. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you probably saw some of it already, but I also picked back up um, the Chopping Mall Stitch Along from Witchy Stitcher, and this is where I'm at. So I finished Sam Hain. This is the last block that I left off on. I have no idea when I showed you guys this last, so I can't show you guys like pictures, progress pictures. Um, I only do that when I consistently work on the same project. So between this floss tube and the next floss tube, it'll probably be this project and um, Halloween at Hawk Run Hollow again. Um, and then I did all of this here. So I had the tip of this done, um, but I didn't have any of this done. And I basically stitched everything from this here this way except for this top part because I had this piece done but I did all this and then if you can see closely right here that this shadow is not a shadow it's because I stitched all of that wrong and I had a frog all of that out and after that day I kind of got upset with it and lost my mojo um I had to start a new string I had to cut that string because it was a little frayed you can you can see it better when I come over here Um, so that's what happened there. So I, yeah, I'm just, I'm really trying to finish this. I got a good chunk of this done here. And so I need to come out and do this part right here. I'm not enjoying stitching the name here. So I have shopping and I still have the word mall to do. I don't know what it is. It's just super confetti and I'm just not enjoying it. I don't know if you guys can see like all the different colors down in here. 
it's just yeah plus I really don't like stitching with white for some reason white just the stitches always come out so screwed up I don't know why it just it does Does anybody else have that problem because I sure as hell do so I've been keeping all of my lips in the same container so you guys can not so you can see them but so that I can remember because there's times where I work on something and I completely forget then it was world cross stitching day and I went ahead and started pandemic finally didn't get very far on it but I started it I'm stitching this on a half yard of 32 count Joblin in the color Ice Queen from Be Stitch Me Again. Um, I can't remember what I'm doing this as. But let me find find my start because I can't remember. Oh, so I started. It goes this way. I uh, I think I'm doing two over two. Yeah, two over two. And I started here. So it looks just straight red right here. <laughs> I'm using DMC 115, which is very, oh yeah, you can see the variegation there easy. That's what I'm using for this. This needle minder is from Abby Topknot and my Monopoly one. I don't know who that's by. I got it off of one of the D-stash groups. You can't really see the variegation at this time of day. During the day, you can see the darker variegation over here, but not in this light, you can't. So that is that. Um, I'm pretty sure I started that on World Cross Stitch Day. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. I don't know, something. I can't figure out how this was folded, but it's folded somehow. And then I forgot to tell you guys that the shopping mall from the Witchy Stitcher is stitched on 16 count shale from Picture This Plus. And then I only worked on one other thing, which was also a new start. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw this too. Um, I don't post a lot, a lot on Instagram, but sometimes I do. Um, I started Miss Scissors by Barbara Anna. This is the card that it comes with, so it doesn't show you like the whole pattern. Um, but this is so much fun to stitch. I feel like I'm probably always gonna have a Barbara Anna on the go because they're so fun to stitch. I don't know why, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the colors or I think it's all of it. The colors and the design, the whole entire thing. The dogs are making a lot of noise. And then, so, it comes on a DMC. This, this is a kit that I got from Nitka Moscow. I ordered them from Russia. It took some time to come, but once they came, it was like totally worth the wait. So it comes on a one of these DMC floss cards, but I feel like these are the, the AliExpress thread. I, I don't know who manufactures them, but this is my favorite kind of thread because these are so much more smoother than DMC. Um, and I know because I stitch all, most of my projects with DMC and I also stitch with the other floss which is typically called CXC and it's amazing. It is my favorite floss to stitch with. I have several projects kitted up with this including, oh! Um, Halloween at Hawkorn Hollow is stitched up in mostly CXC and I have one of my Heaven Earth designs fully kitted up in CXC as well. Um, anyway, that's besides the point. This, I don't know what, let me see if I can look it up real quick. P. Maybe I can get a ring light or something to put here so that it makes a nice um, makes a nice, well, lighting situation so that when I do need to look something up, I can look it up for you guys. So let me go to Nika Moscow and see, oh, I got to translate it over to English. Why is 
Barbara Anna not on here, right here. Nitka and Barbara Anna. I don't care if it's not ladylike to drink out of the glass, it's what I do. So these come with 32 count Belfast. And I have to say, I quite like it. It's not bad. That's my start. I got quite a bit done over uh, a day and a half um, that I, well, two days that I gave this attention and I'm loving it. I didn't think about changing her skin tone until after I had already worked on her, but I think she's going to be the only light complected one that I do and I think I'm going to change the skin tone to be a little darker on the other two. Um, and of course probably the red hair because I also have Miss Coffee and Miss Teapot and all of them are white ladies with red hair so I might still leave the hair red I'm not sure it depends on how what the contrast is gonna look like with a darker skin tone but I might leave the red hair because I quite like the red hair it's a different shade of red for Miss Scissors so I feel like I mean for Miss I have them down here that's why Miss coffee and so I feel like the darker skin tone would still look perfect with the red hair but anyway too much ramble I love it it looks so pretty and the floss you guys the floss is amazing it also helps when you're stitching on something nicer than Ada Ada tends to rough up the stitches I was talking to Amy about that the other day because when you stitch with CXC um, it does shred the floss a little bit on Ada because Ada is just rough um, but when you're stitching on something nicer, it doesn't do that. So, there is that. And that's all my whips, you guys. That's all the whips. And the pattern is also in this giant thing. I couldn't make a copy of it because it's so big. And so I'm just working off the pattern and I'm trying not to mark it up. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But, um... It is what it is. So on to the haul. Let me pick up some of the haul stuff. See if we can get through it. Okay, so there's way more. Oh, you guys moved. There's way more than I thought there was. So a couple of things. Okay. Um. Okay. So I ordered these off of Susan Eagle off of um, Stash and Loading, and. They smelled a little bit like smoke when I got them, like cigarette smoke. But I think, yeah, I can still smell it on the fabric a little bit. But I've left them open, and so it's kind of aired out some, which is good. So I, one of them is a full kit, and two are just the patterns, but they're all by Chessie and Me, I believe. All three of them are by Chessie and Me, and this is Ghost In. Look at how freaking adorable that is. I don't know the stitch count, um, but Halloween 365, so it's going to be fun to stitch. And then the other pattern I got was Bittersweet and Pumpkin Sampler. It looks like that. Bring you closer. Isn't it cute? Ugh. And it says, bittersweet and pumpkins, fall is in the air. I love the border of the trees, the way it goes around like that. And then the last thing I got was a full kit from her. And this one's called Pumpkin Pals Forever. And it looks like this. It kind of reminds me of Ghost Inn. It's very similar. I wonder if they came like those matching... That's interesting. Actually, they would go good next to each other. That might that might happen. Um, so this one came with the full kit though. So it comes with some linen. Um, it comes with the finishing fabric. It comes with a John James needle, a um, threader. It comes with all the floss. And is there something else in here? Oh, and there's also a piece of Ada in here. So. I'm not sure what the two pieces of fabric are for, but it is. And they look they're cut look like look to be cut about the same size. So the Ada is in this gray color, and then the linen is in like a brownie taupey kind of color. 
I don't know. So there is that. And then let's stick to patterns. So I hadn't downloaded the chapters from Harry Potter and the the letters from Hogwarts stitch along from Stuart Cunningham at Cunningham Stitch. I hadn't downloaded chapters three and four yet. So I've been getting a little picky with these and I haven't been playing the game as he wrote it to be because I just didn't like it. Um, not only that, but the links weren't working. You're supposed to be able to read the prompt and then pick your thing and then click on the bottom and it's supposed to jump to the next section. Mine wasn't doing that. I got really frustrated with it. Not only that, but some of the sections are like 80 freaking pages. Not happening. So I printed out three and four and I'll show you guys what I did for those. So part three, I ended up going with the Forbidden Forest with the Thestrals and the pumpkins and that piece of Hagrid's hut in it. That was the one that I chose for section three and section four. So this is gonna be a little bit different. So section four, a lot of people were doing, there's so many variations for this. And there's a chair that somebody posted from like a dimensions kit or something that they had. And I had the kit saved to either order the kit so I can get the pattern or I might just work off the picture that she posted. I'm not sure, but I didn't go with the three broomsticks um, hearth that they have. And I think I'm gonna maybe put a pile of books here. The chair comes out to like here somewhere, just like this. And so um, I just, I loved the way that this looked with the simplicity of it. And I felt like it just pulled it in a lot better. There's so many variations for these two sections that you can do. You can do like the wizard um, Weasleys, wizard Weezies. You can do, um, the, what's the one that sells you can do like a birdie bots thing with the candy the candy store um, a whole bunch of stuff but that's how I ended up doing it um, just because I felt like that's I don't know what I liked the best out of the options given and without having to come up with a whole bunch of other stuff so the another part of the or the second pattern to four boys and an all girl Stitch Along came out for the Woodland Creatures sale. Again, my friend Amy purchased the Stitch Along for me that I haven't started yet because I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do them yet. Um, but this is what it looks like. It is an owl and he is the cutest freaking thing. So the other one was just like a nest and this one is a full like wreath. And it's so adorable. I love it so much. And that back stitching just really draws in what his face looks like. It's so cute. So there is that. Then, that's it for the patterns. So, I got my glasses of the month from, um, what's it called? My nest egg from Three Owl Threads. So I get the classic Colorworks nest egg and we are now in the letter C and you're not gonna be able to see any of the variegation at all maybe maybe not so we've got chopped chives this one i feel like you'll probably be able to see the most it's so freaking gorgeous cocoa bean if not you can totally just look these up um cobbled peach this one's adorable it's a light pink uh, cayenne this one looks nice too. Cloud, light blue, cerise, or cerise, however you want to say it. That's a more bold pink. Chesapeake Bay, uh, cinnamon toast, caterpillar. This is one of my favorite ones. I don't know if you guys can tell the variation on this one, but it looks nice. I like this one. And then cashmere. This looks nice too, but this is purple. It's a light purple. Not really a fan of purple, but I really like that. So that came. Um, I canceled my Bestitching Fabric of the Month, so I'm currently not getting any fabrics of the month. And she didn't do Friday Night Fight Night last week, 
but she did do Friday night by 8 this past week, so today's Monday, so she did have it on Friday, except that I missed it because that was the night that we were spending the night at my father-in-law's and I completely freaking forgot. When I went to check at 11, there was a few pieces left, but they were all mostly, what was it called, hibiscus? And I already have a piece of hibiscus that was from the fabric of the month. I didn't feel like I needed another piece. And then my um, Victoria Motto floss of the month came and it's pretty much all oranges. Um, we've got desert orange, which is a super pumpkin-y, like fresh pumpkin orange. We've got Old Town Copper, Dusky Tangerine, The Wicked Witch, Purple, Red Apple, and Yellow Sunflower. I feel like these names match what the color looks like spot on. So that's what those look like. Um, so, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. I have some things to talk about for the floss of the month for Mystical Diamond Art. So, there is those. And then my friend Amy bought me some needle minders. Did I not print? Where are the rest of my? Here they are. I still have patterns to show. I'll show you the needle minders in a minute since I already spoiled it. Okay, so Facebook group, um, what Facebook group is it? Shoot, I have a screenshot. I will put the name of the Facebook group here. She posted these freebies a couple of days ago and I printed them out. So I'm gonna show them from a little further back. Um, you're, it's a picture of a screenshot essentially and so the black stitching is a little hard to make out but I can count by the surrounding blocks and it should be fine but they're so stinking cute that I had to print them out. So they're charted by Michaela Lerner and I can't remember the name of the Facebook group but I it'll already be on the screen so that you could I don't know if it's still free it was free at the time but this one's called Trick or Treat 2 and you can see here it was a freebie chart. That's what it looks like not sure about the color scheme yet. I like it and then I don't at the same time so I don't know if I'm going to change it to be more traditional or maybe instead of shades of purple do another color. I'm not sure yet unless you had another one called purple pumpkin. Um, this one's going to be harder to change the scheme because she uses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This has eight colors in it and so I'm unsure um, how it would change this but isn't it freaking adorable? So those were freebies in her Facebook groups. So I printed those out because why not? Why freaking not? I'm gonna save those and pull up. What is this? Oh, I forgot. I forgot a piece. I'm gonna have to get the piece. So I ordered from Stony Creek. You guys, the fastest freaking shipping I have had in months is one of my wholesalers that I wholesale patterns from ships incredibly fast mm -hmm. too. But as far as ordering from a normal store as a regular customer, let me get the, the whole reason why I ordered from them in the first place. I got the Halloween just cross stitch. So my issue from Etsy still hasn't arrived. Not to say that it won't, it might, who knows. But um, as of right now, it hasn't arrived. So I ordered another one from Just Cross, or Stony Creek, and it came really fast. So there's that, it came. Um, you guys, and then Mill Hill. From my understanding, these are the newest Mill Hill kits. I honestly think I'm gonna put my Christmas tree up in October and decorate it with Halloween decorations because look at these freaking pumpkin ornaments and the owl, yes. Oh, so freaking cute. And then look at these other ones too. Love these new um, buttons and beads kits. Love them. Okay. I'm not gonna go through a whole lot of time talking about this. If you guys wanna see a flip through, let me know. I'll do a flip through. Um, 
by now everybody and their mom has this except for me i have to paint so look at the freaking pattern you guys there's so many cats in this book it is ridiculous and i know you can't see some of the smaller ones i'm sorry it's just there's so many patterns in here that it's they're so small i don't know how many are on here 58 is what it says and yeah i feel like it feels like there's more than 58 honestly there is not a single pattern in here that i don't like which is dangerous because most of them are like my favorite half to stitch right now patterns and then there's a few that i'm like i like that but i don't want to stitch it right now but for the for the most part everything in here i want to stitch very dangerous but, but because i want them all so part of that um order also included so every month they have a pattern of i don't I might be wrong, but I feel like every month they have a free pattern. And if you order every month, you can get the free pattern for that month. It's called Pattern of the Month Series. And it tells you, like, August. I'll show you guys the patterns again now. July. And so every month, you can get the free pattern. So this Halloween one is finished. I don't know what they're going to come out with next. Um, so... I got the August one free, and I went ahead and ordered the other four, um, just to have the whole set, because it's cute and I like it. Um, these are just the charts, they're supposed to be finished up as a bell pull, and um, this is the finished thing. I don't have like that, I didn't buy that, but it's so cute. I think I might do it like on a wooden board instead. Um, kind of like how they do the welcome signs that you always see out during the fall. So this is the whole thing. Um, and then for August, it was the Happy Halloween one. And so I also, April is when this one started. This one's called Ghost, Ghosts and Goblins. And then May was called Scary Witches. June is called Jack-O-Lantern. And July is called Haunting Night. So I just went ahead and picked them all up. But if you order every month from somewhere, it might as well be Stony Creek so you can get the free pattern of the month. Right? This could be dangerous for me because I could start ordering from them every month to get the pattern. I don't know. And you can only get it for free during that month. And then, like the other ones, once that month is over, you have to pay for the rest of it. So checking on my kids because I can see them through the reflection of this door I can see them in the next room <laughs> okay so I'll save that for last okay so my friend Amy who you hear a lot about a lot of Amy's in the cross stitch world tis not me and it is not any of the other Amy's that have a floss tube channel but um she doesn't have a floss tube channel well we've made a really good friendship and I saw this cross stitch and I said to her and she was like, we need that. This is just like a silly thing. It's not like we don't really gossip. Um, we give each other our opinions about things, but it's not really gossip. Anyway, the pattern says, I never repeat gossip, so listen carefully. I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can go and purchase this. But it is from Spruce X Stitch. I purchased this on Etsy. Um, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, obviously, if you get it from Spruce X Stitch, let me write that. Um, but I bought it off of Etsy. And she was such a sweetheart. So when you buy a digital file, you can't buy two for some reason and it wouldn't let me buy two and so I messaged her and I was like hey like how do I work around this I want two of this pattern one for me one for my friend and she was like don't worry about it just print out however many copies you want and send it to her and I was like no I can't do that I said thank you though and she said it's really no big deal I still purchased two. I'm gonna show proof right here for all of you stitching police out there that I purchased two off of Etsy 
and I sent Amy. I didn't download it. Maybe I did download it. I can't remember. Um, and I sent Amy the second copy and printed off the first one for myself and we're gonna stitch this together so I need to pick fabric and floss for it because she's itching to start it and I need to hurry up <laughs> and get on the ball then to celebrate the occasion she sent me these gorgeous freaking needle minders from rebel stitcher and what's even funnier is that I had seen I'm pretty sure it was married with stitches had these and then um I had the same one in my Etsy cart and didn't get it because she told me don't buy any needle minders until you get my needle minders because I ordered you some so I was like okay and it's a good thing I didn't because I would have bought the same one and it is the spinning wheel um what do we call it tiny decisions is what the, the app that everybody uses and it says like off this me you it and that and it's pointing and it says fuck me isn't that that's hilarious i don't know about you guys but i freaking love that and then i don't know if she ordered this one or if it was a freebie but it's a little gummy bear isn't it so cute um, and they do have different size magnets. So this one is very obviously a very strong magnet and this one not so much. But I can still use this as a cover minder for my diamond paintings. So I'm very happy with those. So I'm going to take these off and put them on my, I put them on my pen holder here. So Rebel Stitcher on Etsy, Rebel Stitcher Designs. And then on Floss Tube, she's Rebel Stitcher. I was actually watching her today. I did subscribe to her. And then her Instagram is, I don't know how to say it, but that's what it is right there. Moon Pie Free? Free? I'm not sure. I'll try to remember to link the whole thing below. I'm really bad at that. So if not, comment below. No. Last thing. So this package came to me in about six days from the time that I placed the order to the time I picked it up in my mailbox. Now, when I picked it up in my mailbox, I hadn't checked them out for two days. So it's a possibility that it could have got to me the day before and I didn't know because I wasn't checking the mailbox and I wasn't checking the tracking. So there's a couple of things. I'm actually not finished talking about Amy either. Let me backtrack before because this is going to be like the grand finale. Amy, additionally, there's a mosquito. Amy, additionally, sent me something from Hoff, not from Hoffman's, from, what's it called? They do the package out. Hirschner's. I've never ordered from Hirschner's in my life. And so when I saw the package on there, I was like, Hirschner's, what the fuck is this shit? So I didn't order anything from Hirschner's. I'm thinking, like, did I get somebody's order by mistake? Like, what is this? And I see my names on the box. She got me two hardcover cross stitch Christmas books. So after flipping through these, this is my favorite one of the two if I had to pick it's this one because I absolutely love every single pattern in this book so many neat things in both of these books there's I gotta adjust you guys there's pillow finishes there's um frames and stuff stitched on bags and it's just amazing you guys are a little wonky because i have to put something there to hold you guys up so you won't fall so hopefully you're good now if you guys want a flip through of these i will do a flip through but they're oh, I, I can't i don't even know how many patterns are in each of these books so she did spill the beans and tell me that these are on sale right now at Hershner's. I didn't check to see what the price was, but they retail for 40 freaking dollars. So if they're still on sale, maybe you wanna go grab some up because maybe they're gonna go back up 
as the holiday season gets closer. Um, but you guys, oh, I just cannot like with the patterns that are in here. Like even just on the table of contents, this freaking Santa. I don't know if you guys can see him. Is freaking gorgeous. There's so many like pillow finishes and just a freaking amazingness in these books. I cannot get over like how freaking gorgeous these patterns are. I just can't. So many good things. Um, there's a pattern in here totally reminds me of what's the one oh, it's not coming to me you guys are probably gonna know and i don't know how they put these books together i'm not sure but this it reminds me of that they're on etsy and i can't remember the name of the etsy shop but this totally reminds me of that etsy shop i can't remember the name it's not coming to me i know you guys are probably screaming it at me right now but you guys so many so many good things in both of these freaking books it's ridiculous like here's a little sneak peek at some of the stuff that's in there um this is like looks like almost like a bubble hanger this is stitched and made into like a bin block letters so many fun freaking things and it tells you how they did all of it too but just the patterns themselves are amazing oh look at the stocking I don't think I have the patience to stitch on Black Ada, but that's freaking gorgeous with the gold. Yes. Okay, let me put these away. Now, back to my wholesale supplier. So, I did a thing and went and bought a bunch of patterns that not only I wanted, but stuff that I think you guys are gonna want too. And I have a very limited amount right now and I'm gonna put them up on my single diamond art in the cross stitch section some of these patterns so they might sell out very quickly but I'm gonna get more um, there's no worries about that so once the order has shipped I might do a pre-sale and sell um, the ones that I have coming and go off of that and that'll give me a better idea of like how many more I should order okay let me see if I can wrap this up in under 10 minutes <laughs> how to switch chairs and do a whole bunch of stuff so patterns I have a few in my hands and I still haven't oh, my cat I still haven't decided with a hundred percent certainty how I'm gonna do it yet but there is gonna be patterns on the website from now on and I'm gonna do my best to try to keep them stocked the ones that I do decide to carry and I'm just gonna tell you guys right now my damn cat there's not gonna be a whole lot of like sampler style um, patterns of that nature um, just because I'm not at least right now I haven't done all of my research and I tend to kind of gravitate towards stuff that I like and that I know people like. Not that I don't know that people don't like samplers, but <laughs> it is what it is. I'll get there at some point. I don't know when. I'm going to show you guys what I am going to have on the site. And I picked up extra copies of all of these patterns for myself as well. Um, so at some point I might be stitching this as well. So everything I have like extras because I'm taking one and putting it in my stash as well. I paid for it. I'm working for it. Um, it is what it is. So um, again, limited amounts on the website. So what I do have is um, Abbey Rose Designs. I stitch alone at midnight. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for the glare, you guys, but isn't that so freaking cute? The witch, I love the little light post. Oh. And then it says, I stitch alone at midnight. And then it also, look at this. Oh, I can't, I can't get over it. So freaking cute. These are all hard copy patterns. Um, this is stitched in both Gentle Arts, Weeks Dye Works, and DMC. 
um, and it does not come with the buttons. This one does call for buttons. Um, none of these are going to come with the extra extras that it calls for. Um, maybe at some point in the future I can offer that, um, but for now I am not. So I also have a couple by Pineberry Lane, and the ones that I'm going to have up on the website are Three Little Witches, and it is three patterns. Look at how freaking adorable. Oh, I cannot get over this, you guys. Pineberry Lane. These are all hard copy patterns. They're not digital downloads. And then the next one that I have is Fancy Blacket October Ride, also by Pineberry Lane. Isn't that pillow gorgeous? I hope there's finishing instructions for the pillow because I'm pretty sure I would do it just like this. I love it. This is I love like all the Pineberry Lane patterns. Um so these are new. Hold on. I'm confusing myself. These are new from my understanding. They're new releases and I'm not sure how quickly they're going to go and as long as I can order more and they're not sold out, um, which is why I'm going to wait until the order ships because the way that they work is I place my order and I don't know if something is out of stock until I get the shipping confirmation because then they tell me with 100% certainty which items are shipping and how many I got. So these are by Lila's Studio and I got both of the new releases. I got Harvest Time. Oh, I just can't get enough of these, you guys. Look at the cauldron with the pumpkins in it. And of course, Cats. And I also got All Hallows Eve. Again, I don't know what is the deal with all of these redheads lately and a lot of these patterns. They all seem to have red hair. Another black cat, super freaking cute. I love these so much. How big are these? Because the pattern is, it's big, it feels heavier than the others. Uh, five by six? Hmm, I guess it's not that bad. Maybe the chart's bigger. Then, of course, I have a copy for myself and a copy for you guys or for somebody to purchase. Um, this is Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick, and it looks like this. Look at the spools of thread, of course. It actually looks like a dog. Scissors. And then this one actually says, I myself am made entirely of flaws stitched together with good intentions. I absolutely love that sentiment. And it is doo -doo -doo, pretty big. No. 8 by 7 if you're doing a 14 count. But this is a full size sheet. And this actually feels like a piece of cardstock is in here. Um, and it's bigger than the others. So those are the patterns that I'm going to have online for you guys. <coughs> oh, I had to sneeze. Those are the patterns I'm going to have online for you guys. And um, I'm going to order more. By the time these are going to be up, I will have an order placed for more of these. But... Um, I'm going to try to see, um, looking at other ones, it's just the kind of setup of it's a little bit different and so it takes me some time to kind of go through the, the patterns and whatnot, kind of um, decide what I want to get. So that is that. And then I actually also picked up something else for myself because one isn't enough. I picked up Autumn at Hawk Run Hollow. You guys, when I first saw the Hawkwind Hollow series, I was like, mm, I don't think I need that. I don't think I like it. I don't like every single box. I can't see myself stitching the entire thing. And then I saw the Halloween one, knew that I had to have it. Originally, before the before I purchased the Halloween one, I think one two three stitch had the autumn stuff on sale. And, or it was like something with pumpkins or like, I don't know what it was, but this was on sale for some reason or another. And I had this in my cart and then I had it in my head that I needed to get this one. And then I decided not to, when it came down to it, I ended up getting the Halloween one. I got that one from 123Stitch and just knew that I still had to get the autumn one. So now I have 
the autumn one and it's freaking gorgeous. I think the only box that I don't like is probably the pig one um, here just because it's not really my thing. Maybe I'll replace it. The turkey. I like the surrounding part of the turkey but I'm just not a big turkey person but then again like this all represents autumn. The thing about it is too is it still has like Halloween stuff in here because that's part of autumn but um i still love it because it wouldn't be a video of mine if i didn't finish it the next day that is it hopefully my camera doesn't fall i am getting ready to log into a zoom meeting for one of my classes my kid is on a zoom meeting in the other room and i'm gonna try to get um all the patterns up today as well as the new releases. I still have to film the new release video. So my Zoom meeting lasts until 11.45. So I don't know if I'm going to have time. The new releases might get put up tomorrow. We'll have to see. That's it, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And I think this video is under an hour, which is what I was aiming for. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys later.